shit. Whatever. I don't care. Yeah, this is me. You might be wondering how I got in this situation. Well, it all started on July 1st of 2024. Well, I suppose if you want to nitpick, it really started April 23rd, 2022 when I made this video. But then again, if you want to nitpick even further, you could argue that it started in my childhood when I was... Uh, let's not get ahead of ourselves and just jump right into the main content. The plan was really fucking simple. Just make a plane and fly around the Stormworks map going only north. The original plane I designed for this effort was a single engine aircraft in similar style to like a single engine seaplane just worse. I had no idea what to do really other than make a light plane with a lot of fuel and this failed aside from one lucky attempt very early every single time. It just got too cold and the engine would stall out. The second iteration was a complete redesign. We went from this like single engine plane to a much more four engine bomber style setup similar to the B-24 that was fielded by the United States during World War II. And now I'd like to talk about engines and cooling. This is the basic setup for any engine. You have an engine that's hooked up to a radiator and as the engine gets hot, the heat gets pumped through a liquid, through a pipe to the radiator, which then heats up and emits away this heat. The cooled fluid then goes back to the engine through a cool pipe. This is what the original plane did, except it broke the loop when the engine got too cold. The first version of the second generation, however, did this where all four engines shared a radiator bank that, in theory, had enough cooling power for four, technically up to six engines. But it didn't work out and burned every single time due to the time it took for the fluid to get to the radiator and back. All of that time just caused excess heat to build up in the engines. So, I switched it normal style for every engine, but I ran into the same issue with every engine getting too cold. So with a good seven iterations of gradual improvement on the second generation, and not proving enough, I redesigned the entire engine system, moving the outer engines behind the inner engines and moving the inner engines forward. Now the aircraft resembles a Fokker F-32 in terms of its engine setup, and the reason was simple. Each engine on its own power is unable to keep up with the heating, so they would gradually shut down, outer engines first, then the inner engines. This new system would see an independent radiator for each engine like the older models, but when temperatures dip, they cut off the radiators and funneled heat to each other, sharing the heat. With this design, I wasn't even getting to where the original plane was, so I made a gauge closer that would allow me to see the engine's performance. And it would drop RPS seemingly out of nowhere. I knew the fuel setup was fine because I could sit on full throttle in the hangar for an extended period of time. As a last ditch attempt, I added more air intakes. Cold air is generally worse for combustion, so maybe the engines just want more air to compensate. To my surprise, this worked and allowed me to fly the world in 47 minutes with one fatal flaw. In my haste to do the final flight, I accidentally left on infinite fuel, which was turned on for some testing that I did. So rather than redo the flight immediately, I did some math and testing. It turns out that the aircraft has 13,300 units of fuel approximately, and I timed the amount this went down over 15 seconds, and the engines, again approximately, use 2.7 units of fuel per second. So, the basic math shows that we have approximately 82 minutes of flight time in the tanks, which is well above the 47 minute flight time. The only other question is, what about wind? Wind pushes you, and the lighter you are, the harder the impact, so you would be off course more. And I definitely think it would have an impact, but given how far I flew on my Gen 2 plane with not infinite fuel, I think that I should be totally fine. Not to mention, even if it does extend my trip, I have over double almost the fuel needed for this flight, so I think I would be fine. All this said and done, I learned a lot more about how Stormworks deals with temperatures and engines, but there's still one thing I need to do. One thing that's been haunting me. 
but that'll be for a couple months from now. 